Welcome to the Norwich State Hospital. The Norwich State Hospital, originally established as the Norwich State Hospital for the Insane. There's two ways to look at it. It's either setting us up or it actually is safe. Medical and surgical services were provided at the hospital, such as sterilizations, convulsive therapies, and lobotomies. Or do you want Nick to go down the hallway? Ah! <laughs> when you said it's here, who did you mean by that? Laser grids off, guys. Oh, it's yes. like somebody walked on the door. What the no. fuck? The Norwich State Hospital, originally established as the Norwich State Hospital for the Insane, later shortened to the Norwich Hospital, was a psychiatric hospital located in Preston in Norwich, Connecticut. It opened its doors in October 1904 and operated until October 10, 1996. Throughout the near century it operated, it housed geriatric patients, chemically dependent patients, and from 1931 to 1939, tubercular patients. The hospital, which sits on the banks of the Thames River, began with a single building on 100 acres of land and expanded to over 30 buildings and 900 acres at its peak. Treatments at the hospital. Medical and surgical services were provided at the hospital, such as sterilizations, convulsive therapies, and lobotomies. In 1936, convulsive treatments such as metrazole shot treatment was used on some psychiatric patients. Metrazole was discontinued in the 1940s due to the high number of fatalities caused by its usage and replaced by electroconvulsive therapies. Insulin coma therapy was also used in some psychiatric cases. High doses of insulin was given to patients which would cause them to go into a coma. Norwich is infamous for its hauntings. Full-bodied apparitions, shadow figures, the disembodied screams of patients still not at rest. Even the rumor of non-human entities that will pick up on the weakest person in the group. Even though all of the buildings are active, the most infamous is the Lippitt Building. This is the building that housed criminally insane patients along with the surgical suite where doctors perform lobotomies. All right, we are ready to go in. Everyone oh, cheers. Yeah. Cheers. All right. Open this thing up. Into the lipid we go. Thank you, kind sir. Oh my Alright, welcome to the lipid building. Water's falling all over me. I'm making these faces because of the water. It's dripping on me. Where do you guys want to start? Back that way? Yep. Yep. Okay. Right where it all started. Where it all began. You guys heard the whistle? No. I heard a. It literally sounded just like that. No different. Why'd you do it again? I was. No, 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 no. Hold on. Pause. I feel like there should be a, a, like a rule for where if you're just mimicking it back, it doesn't count, right? Because you're trying to recreate that sound. Is that a rule? There should be a rule. So. I feel like there should be a rule with this game here. Is this a game? You, if you know what whistling in the dark on native land means, you understand the severity of why I hate it. So the rule of thumb, I don't like to whistle, mimic, ask them to do anything of the sort. But if there's a gray area, that would be it, where you just mimic what they did. Because you're trying to see, like, what you heard, right? Yeah. My, my point was that as soon as we stopped though, because as soon as I said stop, I felt like I heard something run above us, right? Did anybody else hear that? 
Not I heard really. Like bells. You heard bells. Yeah. So would you say like that jingle again? Yeah. The keys again. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this off. I don't know if it's me. I know you guys saying it's not me, but I just. Well, wanna... I mean, it's better to kind of roll it out anyway, yes. so that way you can say, "Well, no, it's in my bag now." Yeah. So we when we were doing B-roll, we kept hearing like keys, like someone's walking around with keys and all that. So we're trying to figure out where that noise is coming from. I think we kind of have the feeling of the of the building, you know, from doing B-roll and kind of everything. Yeah. But I think what we should do, like we should always do, uh, especially how, like you said, you always want to be respective and everything. Like you said, you gave your tribute earlier. Mm -hmm. We're not here to damage anything or anything of the sort. So I think we should introduce ourselves so they know. Because I bet you a lot of people that come in, they don't just come in, themselves. don't want to give their names out or anything. So... They're like, there's just people just wandering through here. So let's introduce ourselves so the nurses know, doctors know, and everything. So I think we should do that. All right, uh, how are we doing? I'm Ryan. I'm Emily. Got a special guest, introduce yourself again. So they special guest, we're the special guest. Technically, yes, actually, this is our <laughs> first time. Drew is one with them. I was gonna say, I'm one with the building. One with the spirits. So and spirits, you guys know who I am? Hmm. I heard something down that way. Yep. Can you answer this for me? What floor would you like us to be on? Give me a knock for each floor you want us to be. That was two. That was two. Yeah. And that was right behind us I in know. that room. But it was funny because it literally was like a distinctive one and then there's a lighter one. Underneath. It was literally like, here you go, one, two. I've never witnessed this much activity, ever. <laughs> Welcome back. Yep. yep. The thing this is, is it's normal. like the spirits know, so they're like, we gotta give her a show. So I guess, what do we do, we go upstairs? I wanna... Put some equipment, like. Yeah, I think we should do that. You know. I. I need a source of light, though. We're gonna get some devices out that you can communicate with us. Well, here's the thing. Which direction do you feel? Do you feel calling that way, or you want that way now? Seriously, I don't really know which way to go. I it's, it's everywhere. Yeah. What? That's what it said. No. Oh. No. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Let me let me see what we can get real quick. You said what? It, what was the stuff that it kept saying? Who did you mean by that? Laser grids off, guys. What? Laser grids off, Fry. What the wait, hell? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Is that who just set off, turned off the laser grid? Where are we? You can come out. Because I know you don't want to be seen, which is why you turned that off. Am I right? Alright, let's see. Before you review that, did anyone else hear the REM pod? No. No. I heard the beeping of a REM pod, but back here. I feel like my chest is very tight. Right is there now. like, is there a mimic here? Yes, I do believe so. Mm. I, I, and if there, if I, I'm gonna go ahead and say yes because there's a lot of things you can experience here. Three, two, one. The obvious doctor. Wow. First thing it said, doctor. I'm wondering if that's who's watching us. That is Dr. Dude. Bill. But it calibrates first. It normally gives you two words to calibrate. It just immediately said, it said doctor. That was it. Yeah, and the first word it picks is doctor. 
All right, so this device right here, you're gonna be able to use its energy and pick out words. It might be easier to talk to us because I don't know if you know this, but normally we can't hear you. So these devices just help us communicate with you. And just to like make you guys aware, if you didn't know about the lipid building, they performed lobotomies in here, electroshock therapy. So getting the word doctor is super relevant. If I come down here a little bit, are you able to describe me? I mean, stand right if this here. was like the, uh, like the day room or something. Mm -hmm. Describe me. What does Ryan look like? Can you tell him what color shirt he's wearing? <laughs> Sad. <laughs> oh, come on. We're full of jokes here? No. That called you a fool like four times so far. Well, that's what I'm saying. Analyzed. So it analyzed me. He's a fool. That's exactly what that meant. And it's super cold right here. The children are playing. I always hear that on that. I came here, and we all came here, so we can talk to you, maybe learn more about you. We want to help prove that there is something after we die, and that's not just it. And when you communicate and you give us evidence, that thing just spiked up as soon as I was saying it. Huh? The orange. And when you're able to do stuff like that, yes. Can you pin it to red? You got to get super close to it. Come on. I can feel you around here. My ears are ringing. Yeah, I called you a fool. Probably talking about you. <laughs> Actually, it's probably manifesting around Ryan. Mm -hmm. That's been happening a lot. I get that feeling and then stuff starts to happen. How are you? What was that? Ooh. That was like scuffling. There's something walking through those buds. It's walking. Yeah, that is walking. I don't want to see what I want to Hello? Can't be here. You jump way too much. But that was that was walking. That was right, walking. No, it came from this way. You want to do the the dumb decision? Split up? No, go up. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. This device right here is going to be brand new for us and you guys. It is called the Sear Pod, and it's by Lauren Haunts. I will make sure to put her information in the description below. But what it's supposed to do is detect static electricity. So it doesn't beep, but it will light up with certain lights when it detects static. So I thought that would be interesting because we don't have anything that'll just detect static because EMF and static electricity are two completely different things, so. Well, also too, with the REM pod doing EMF can be manipulated by 
phones, yep. like like electricity, routers, internet, stuff like that. So with the static, it can only be yeah, and this set will off. Not. Yeah. So we are going to do a SB7 session. <laughs> All right, my name's Ryan. I'm Emily. My name is Drew. And I'm Nick. And you can use this radio and speaker right here to talk to us. We're going to be able to hear your voice. <laughs> I thought it said location. Like, I thought like, you caught it at the end with, like, permission. Permission. Yes, you're able to speak to us. Am I laying in one of your beds? Good too, there's not a lot of radio. Uh... We heard some uh, walking around up here. Was that you walking around? Who are we talking to? Can you give us a name? this building called? Wow, that, that name came through really clear. Holy crap. Anna? Something with an A. Anna, Anita, something like that. Yeah. When I go back to the footage, I might be able to hear it. You should definitely hear that one. Yeah. Okay, so tell me this. What's this facility called? Can you say one of our names? The cap ball's going off. Oh. Good job. Thank you. Do you want me to get the bell out? You seem pretty excited about that. And that just goes back to the whole like thing behind the bells, like they recognize that. Like yeah. it's very all right, I'm going to put the bell next to that cap ball, if that's okay. I'll let you play with it again. Imagine probably just getting slammed against the wall. <laughs> Who thinks of that? No, I just have these pictures in my head. Oh, the good thing look, is... Look, 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 look. Now, can you ring the bell? You can either get near it or hit the top. Bring it. Go ahead, use your same energy to set that off. It won't hurt you. No, it's me, right? Switch. That was me. Came right through. Oh, it said that was me? Yep. Well, hello. Uh, no, but it's funny because I was, tell 
I was telling you that I moved and you heard that that pop noise. Yeah. That was me, and I said that was me, and then this came through and said that was me. Yeah, and I not the cap off. If you hit the top of it, you're going to need a lot of energy to do that. Them. I think they're talking about us. And that's what that picked up. Mm -hmm. Are you trying to figure out how to use this device? First. Walking. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, she said gosh. walking. That said oh. walking and that went off. If you can Dude. Understand. Wow. Now you, you found you found something that you like. What's amazing about this and what the appreciation that we have for this device now that we actually really learn how this thing's made, mm -hmm. that thing only has like a three or four meter throw on it. So that literally goes probably from there to the capital. No, probably no more. So I would say something is in that room then, right there to the right. We're walking out or just walking down the hallway. Can you stand in front of that and make the music keep playing? Now stand in front of it, it'll keep playing. Don't be scared. It plays nice music, doesn't it? Go over there. You have to show me where. It is on the music box. <laughs> Might be talking to each other. You go over there and look at it. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Like go over there, and make it go off. <laughs> Do you want us to go into the room on the right? Wow. Uh, was that in that room or is that just on? Down the hallway it was somewhere. Down the hallway, like in the water, but it sounded like somebody stepped. Whoa, hold on, pause. There was a flashlight out there. Oh, great. Uh, where? You sure it wasn't a car? <sighs> it literally looked like they had clipped. Nicola. It clipped. What is it? It said Nicola. It's close. I'm doing it. <gasps> the bell! Dude, is it letting us know that someone's here? So, like... None of these devices have gone off all night. It's like it comes in waves, like every hour or every 30 minutes. And we got the cap all going off, the music box is going off, and then we thought we saw someone walking outside because this place has trespassers all the time. Unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And the bell, which has not gone off all night, goes off, almost like confirming like, yeah, that's someone out there. The obvious is picking up an EMF fluctuation. Mm-hmm. Lift it up. Hmm. Are you, are you walking towards us? You feel lonely here? Richie is here. Hmm. Thought about that in my head. Yeah, you know, I never thought about that. I, well, when they, when the first word that came through was conjure, like you said, so many people break onto this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What gives them? I like the lights. <laughs> They're probably like, sorry. Do you like the lights from the music box? We have a lot of lights around here, don't we? We have the green one. We have the white. She pushed. Was 
little nurse that pushed. I also feel like there's something. So if you look down the hall, right? Mm -hmm. Third room down to the right, bottom right corner. I feel like I'm, I don't know if it's my eyes playing tricks on me right now or what, but it almost seems like this little tiny shadow that keeps peeking its head around that corner, down by the right. There's been a couple times that I feel like I'm seeing something pull its head back in. Hmm. Can you show yourself? Are you saying you got hit, or you want to hit us? Can you not do that? What? <laughs> it said hit, and then you jumped. Like, you like, you felt like... It looked no, like my you, legs slipped. I know, but it didn't look like you just like got hit or like uh -huh. pushed. It was just like, hit! Did you get hit, or did we get hit? And you jumped, and I was like, what? Do you want Emily to go down that hallway? By yourself? What? Do you want Ryan to go down the hallway? Do you want Drew to go down that hallway? I swear to God, I could have smacked him. <laughs> like, my whole head just started. Because I knew it was coming, but I was just at the same time, because I'm like, don't you Light up. Or do you want Nick to go down the hallway? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Here you go, pal. We'll see you. Good luck. They're probably like, you shouldn't have said shit. Oh, that's a horrible one on that one. That is horrible. That was right away, too. Sir, you like, won your prize. One more walk down that hallway. Yep. Don't get Please, touched. sir, keep your hands and feet inside of the vehicle at all times. Already. Buckle up and enjoy the ride. All the way of darkness, here we go. Yep. Don't try it. That's yeah. the hard part. Yeah, just remember there's a cap on. I was just about to say, like, watch out for the little equipment down. Yeah. Right oh, yeah. I mean, out of all the equipment, step on the cap off, but. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna start walking down that hallway. Are you okay with that? Crickets. There's no <laughs> asking. They. they required they were you. right on you on beat. Yeah, as soon, soon as, as you I said, said Nick, ding. Ding. Yeah, boom. Alright, I'm gonna walk down that hallway. Yeah, they're like, come on. <laughs> come on, buddy. Party with me. Okie dokie. And if you have a message for Nick, you can talk to me through this obulus right here, and I'll relay it to him. Yep. Right, they're like, come on. Yeah. Dale. Alright, see you, bud. Have fun. Okay, what do you say? Me. Just me. Oh. <laughs> Hello, big thing that flew out of that room. Yeah. Do you have a message for Nick? While he's walking down there, alone, by himself? Vulnerable? Vulnerable. Open to anything? It's me. Talk to the camera, Nick. Yeah, I'm trying to find laser grid. Button. The worst thing is, is this hallway here looks a lot darker here. Hey, I'm grabbing it. What makes money? Oh shit. Is that him setting that up? No, no, that's too used way too far. You want money? Are you following him now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you see me down here? Go run his pockets. You're behind him? It's like it ducked into a room until he walked by and then came back out. Did you want Ryan to walk down? We already asked this. Yeah. They want it back. Go. 
Why do you have hammer? It wanted Nick. And not me. If you want Ryan to come down here with me, you gotta give a tap. Good knock. No, if if you want me to go down there, I want that bell to go off. No, that's the music box. They're like a kind of Tap the bell that's in the doorway right there. It really is weird how dark. Yeah. This is. The children play. Let's try that again. Yes. Huh. This is a big water drop that I like above my head. <laughs> Can you tell us what Nick looks like? Whoever's following him? What was this room used for? Can you tell me where he's at? If this thing's at hallway, I'd piss my pants. Why did it get dark? Because <laughs> you're supposed to be like that the whole time. <laughs> it's like you just got superior, like significantly darker. Now that it's a lot darker, you could probably sneak up on them. <laughs> My bad friend for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's good for content. True. Sure. Carl. Oh. Carl. 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 Hi, Carl. Hi, Carl. Oh, you can't kill people. <laughs> you know what that's from? You guys too young. Hmm? Uh, Jimmy Neutron. No. no, what? That's Llamas with Hats. Llamas with Hats. Llamas with Hats. Oh, Emily said Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> <laughs> Carl Weezer. Yeah, right. <laughs> God. Watch your devices. What? You yeah. That, right? Was it like a high pitched squeal? Yeah, in there. On the left? Yeah. Yep. Crazy. I can't see you. Okay. Oh, that's that's Nick. Here's Keppel. Keppel's behind you now. Yeah, he's behind you. Good job, Nicky. Let me rest. Let me rest again. Yeah. Just let you know, it is. Frustration. It is. Frustration. Darker than dark down there, by the way. So, let me rest in frustration. So, that tells me. Whoever's up here right now does not want to talk to us. Mm -hmm. If that's correct, can you ring the bell? Why? What? what that? Say, can you? Show me. Yeah, hit, the, hit the bell. Smoke. No, I'm showing the camera. Uh. Through. Can you? Cement. All right, I'm gonna ring the bell. <clears throat> and the only reason I can see is because of a little tiny light off of the ovulus. What's like this? What does it say, I have a hard life? Mm -hmm. oh, sorry to hear that. Government. Ow, that's my knees. <laughs> that's a 30 noise. Oh. Can you ring the bell now? Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow, right. Now, Peter. Peter. Is that Peter? They, Hi, they rang Peter. the bell? Hold on. And I got Nell on mine. No. So it's like, is it a Nell? Or uh, a name? Like Peter Nell? How about that on demand? Can you ring the bell? Bing! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. 
I know you guys are probably tired and you want to rest. What is it with when you don't have lights on? Oh, these noises get louder and louder. Well, because they're able to get closer, you know, they're not scared of like the light type of thing. Mm -hmm. Because I swear down the right side right now is just shuffling. Mm-hmm. If we're talking to a Peter, can you ring the bell? Or make the music box go off? I don't mind speaking. The bell. In the music and box! In the music box! Dude! Holy shit. Dude, you got both of them. <laughs> so this, this is what we're talking about when we... Yeah. That's two in a row. By the way, those things have nothing to do with each other. Like for people saying like, oh, the music box is going off because the bell goes off. They have nothing to do with each other. The music yeah. box needs motion and a temperature fluctuation at the same time to go off. So you can shine a flashlight in front of it, it will not go off. The bell is EMF and touch. But to make this like even more crazy, think about it. If it's going over there to ring the bell, it probably has to go in front of the music box. Or vice versa. It's yeah. coming out of that room to go Yeah, to the but box. that's just like kind so of doubling the, down on... How's it happening at the same exact time? It's, because it's a step. The, because who, he or she that has to ring that bell <laughs> twice... They really like that thing, yeah. ...would have to move in front of the music box if they were coming from the hallway. Do we like the bell? I just heard a footstep near that bell. Dude. Dude, I'm telling you, I heard it. I knew that was gonna happen. I heard it walking right here. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are we, do is the doctor up here now? Actually, is that who we've been speaking with this whole time? It just got darker, like my shit just went darker. Yeah, I didn't notice that. Wait. You hear that? It sounds like something's walking. Well, there was a car with like heavy bass. I don't know if it was that though. No, it wouldn't linger like that. It's lingering. And it, oh, Ooh. it almost like You hear that one? Yeah. I feel like whenever that says doctor, things just get weird. Mm -hmm. He's the one that performed lobotomies, right? Yeah. I don't think Dr. Bill was a, was a licensed either. But yet again, I mean, just with the patients alone. Patricia. I love that name. Hmm. Maybe what they're doing is going up to the bell and saying their names. Can you imagine that? Like like checking, checking themselves in. Mm -hmm. did, you, did you not like the doctor? Did the doctor hurt you? I'm sorry, but it sounds like someone's come up those steps. It does. Well, I'm sorry that the doctor did that to you. No one deserves to go through that. All right, we are back outside of Lippitt right now. Drew's getting out of here. He's gonna abandon us um, at the scariest building on Norwich, is what it is. But hey man, thanks for having us. Absolutely, my I guys. I appreciate you. Honestly, it was a blast. I'm curious to see what you guys capture on. Um, good luck to you guys. Keep your guard up, always. And We're gonna need it. Yeah. You know what happens. Because when you leave, <laughs> we are pleasure. going to the lobotomy room. <sighs> Make sure you I talk to the... I thought you were about to say the orphanage. <sighs> no. no. Her heart stopped real quick. She's like, not again. No. But I hey, almost sit in the truck. Absolutely. Appreciate it was you. a killer time, honestly. I'm hyped to see what you guys create and see what happens in this place. Haunted Raven. His details will be in the description. Go follow him. Absolutely. And just like always, keep it spooky and keep it real. All right. Drew has left. 
now it is just me, Nick, and Emily at one of the single most haunted locations in the whole country. We have Lippet to ourselves, and what we're going to do is we're thinking about going inside of the lobotomy room and doing an Estes method. And Ghostbait is going to do it. Hi. All right. Oh, yeah. And PSA, uh, Rob, here is a special message from Nick. So, fortunately, I didn't wear your shirt for the interview, so I brought it to Norwich with me. So, it's legally allowed to be here compared to the last one. And he knows what we mean. To the lobotomy room. I don't think anyone's ever been excited to say that. <laughs> no. Could we have picked a creepier night to come here? You ain't lying, dude. Like it was like given. It was like go this. Like day. the video doesn't. The video is not gonna even show anything. No. <laughs> you can't even see the building. It's so foggy. So the lobotomy room straight in to the right. Yep. Okay. Salad fingers. <laughs> <coughs> oh my oh, God! I think he's gonna die. I'm gonna collect my <coughs> spoon. I've got my ass kicked. Two investigations in a row. It really is. <sighs> okay. You definitely know Ryan's becoming more and more a believer every single investigation we're going on because he's getting more and more lit up. Most haunted building, Norwich, by ourselves. Lipid. Lipid building. Let's hit it with a lipid. <clears throat> Ryan's got a lipid. <clears throat> Hashtags in. Sponsor us. Please. I'll start doing it. We are in. Okay, so it's that way. Straight? Straight. This is where we heard the shuffling. So if you guys really don't know, so. Are you What? There's a whole footprint on this door. Yeah, there are straight boot prints on this. That looks new. Ugh. Yeah, that's weird. Was that the noise we heard maybe? I don't know. But uh, Let's I go. found the lobotomy room. Okay. Oh yeah. Ooh, bat. Oh, great. Oh, yeah. We haven't been running lights all day, guys. So. Ladies and gentlemen, the lobotomy room is here at Norwich. All right. So what Emily's going to do is she's going to put on the ghost tube sear uh, goggles, and she's also going under an Estes method, so she won't be able to see or hear us. She is going to say out loud what she hears from the SB7 and whatever she sees from the ghost tube uh, goggles. No experiment, we haven't tried it out before, but why not in the lobotomy room, right? Hi. Hello. Can you tell us your name, who we're speaking to? Hold me. Hold me? I think it's a hold. Hold me? Yeah, hold me. Are you scared? Oh my god. I see a lady standing in the doorway with a light. It's like a, when someone is passing away, they see the light of the doorway. And there's two ladies standing in the doorway. Holy crap, that's creepy. Nurses? Could be. I mean, that makes sense. If somebody passed away, like that was like a failed well, lobotomy. Also, like, yeah, where we're at. Well, it could have been a fail. And that could have been like, hey, Lou, you got to take them out. Because like they say, your brain keeps working after the body shuts down. At least for a couple. Yeah. So that could have been a final image that 
They're like, come in and come get them. What's that? You are? Dude. Closer. Who's that? Who do we hear walking? Looks like walking right above us. Can we talk? Sure. What's your name? Is that, is that you that we hear walking around? Annoying. We've gotten that a couple times. It, it just seems like this place just doesn't want to have, have anything to do with you. My heart's like this. I know. <laughs> I know, it's weird. We can't figure out if it's like we're hearing voices or we're hearing the SB7. How many people are in this building? How many living people are in here? Tired? Tired. You're tired? Have you guys used a lot of energy talking to us today? No. Can you tell us what they did in this room? Could be even better. Could show us. What is this? I see a a jail cell. It's just bars in front of me with nothing in front of it. Hey, you. I have chills. Dude, this room got so much colder like from this I'm way. I'm freezing. Are we supposed to be in here? Mm-hmm. K2 jumped. I know, I've been watching it. Seven? No! Oh, that was me. I think I heard that out mm -hmm. there too. I did. Don't. I'm coming back in. Yeah. yeah, he's coming back. If you don't want to talk, can you use the bell and tell us how many are in here? What? Use the bell on the floor to... Oh, it's a kitty! Oh, it's a black cat! Hi, kitty! Why did she scream like that? I'm in the hallway by myself. It's a black kitty. Call me different. Is there is there a cat at the hospital? K2 just spiked. I just have this I like know. feeling that I'm going to look this way like without the camera and just me and just see someone standing there and like shit my pants. Hey. Sorry, I didn't mean to curse.
we're only going to be here for a little bit longer. So if you want to talk to us, tell us your story. We're here to listen. We're not here to destroy anything. We're friends with Drew and Shannon. Do you know who they are? I love you. That's cute. Oh my God, no, I'm not doing this, no. What? No, look at that. No. Close your right eye. Why is it in? That was like a, an evil like thing. No, it's... Close your left eye or your right eye. I, I saw an animal and it was like something drew. There's a statue there, but it's in... It's like Latin. It's in like Latin, like... Yeah, well, you know what else is in Latin. Uh-huh. The statue looked like it. You got it? You got it. Seemed like we figured it out. Just spiked. Yeah. Oh, the battery's done. To what? On this. On no under. Yes. My phone? Yeah. Totally. Burn. Burn. Now it's gonna. Uh. There was a fire here. There was an explosion. Yeah. Are you talking about the explosion that was here? Who are we hearing? Money. Can can you knock like this? That's not water. The KT's going nuts. Look at it. I know. But I don't know if that's her with the radio. Room. We're in the surgical room, the lobotomy room. I see. Can you ring the bell if you can see us? It's right here. Go. Do you have anything else to tell us? Die. What? That was like mean. Female? Male? Male. Of 
I had an uneasy feeling in here. Like so I'm I sick. Stay. So like obviously you guys can see like the roofs are leaking. But those sounds, and I know you hear them because I can see it on the audio. Those sounds are, that's not water. We've been in here long enough to where. Kind of used to it. Yeah, we, can, we don't even really hear the water droplets anymore. No way. Can you show me a picture again? Yeah, that's weird that that stopped. Don't tell. What, what can't we tell about? Grave. What is that? Grave. Grave. Are you buried near here? There's a bunch of cemeteries. Out there. Out there. Are you out there? Was there mass graves here? No, they um, they actually had they have there. cemeteries like right next to this property. I'm not sure if they're for this hospital though. Uh -huh. I'm not positive where they buried uh, the people who passed. The boy. Is that the the children with the black eyes? I need to warn you. What do you need to warn us about, or? It's saying, I need run. to warn you about the boy. Don't. Run. Walk. What if, what if we don't run? It's don't it's walk. It's just like... Is there kids running up and down the hallway? No, it's saying, don't walk, run. It says she shouts. The woman. The yeah. woman's voice that keeps being scream that screams. Yeah. Something's about to happen. I know. I feel like supercharged. I, right I, now. I just got charged. Can you make a loud noise? Okay, we heard that. Thank you. The conversations. Ooh. That was a loud one, Nick. Mm -hmm. Attic highs. Oh. What did it say? Attic hides. Something going on with that attic. I don't want to go there. Mm -mm, I don't oh. Is this your home? Why? Why don't I want to go to the attic? I did. What? We need power. I know. It's you get like weird ancient things here. We need power. No. No. Like. I heard that one. Yeah. Get him. No. No. <laughs> Go by what the spirit talker said. No. Something was thrown, right? Something was thrown out there. We what? The Something was thrown out there. Did you see it? No, I heard a close day. Like, it, it like. Pop it, out. Of course. In the shadows. But it sounds like it came, that's why I went like this. Well, it came from that way. Who's throwing stuff? Oh, man. Makes sense. Yeah. But it like, it's like. People. 
slave work out in the fields. Mm -hmm. Did it say raid or I think it said Yeah, there's a whole bunch of guys like working in a field. Yeah, it's weird how they're correlating. Yeah, like they suffered in the fields. She loves. I'm telling you, it gets louder and louder and louder. Mm -hmm. I'm tired. I don't want to do this. It's so weird out here because you hear like drop, 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 thump. I hope the prickle was just thrown at the wall. It sounded like somebody did. Yeah, yeah, it was loud. Really? Yeah. But you'll see in that you'll see in the video, Emily, the yeah. the footsteps. Yeah. Really? They yeah, the the camera picked up the footsteps. They were like I was walking up there, like in boots, just chugging along. And there goes the bell. Which has not really gone off. It's the second time, I think, second or third. Oh. Okay, well, uh... Yeah. Okie dokie. Yeah. So my light just died. I didn't want to die. I know you did. I don't think any of us really do. Well, I think some of us understood that we do. I don't think the way this one went. Is the way they wanted to. Yeah. What the no. fuck? Oh, the f oh. Oh, 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 oh. That was behind my f head. Okay, I'm done. Damn. Oh. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Sick, dude. No way, that was sick. That was behind my head and we said, can you make a loud noise before we go? I'm shaking. Oh, I'm gonna have a stroke. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, that's unbelievable. Do you see the door? Yeah. Yes. Can we? It got hit. Woo. Wow! I'm dying. Oh. Uh, thanks, Sean. Norwich, you, you, you did it again. You got us. That was a good one. Holy shit. Oh. I'm done. I'm gonna go home. What the f me up is that I heard the thud. Like, I heard it, but I saw her disappear past me. So I, I kind of thought, it's like, just somebody was, like, you know, knock on the door type. I was waiting for that question. And then I heard the, like, the knock and I, the panic, you moved. That's the first time I've ever seen you scream. <laughs> yeah, but my problem was is that, like, I immediately went into flight. Like, I mean, like, what do I need to do? Because I heard the bang. No, we're, we, no, we, we gotta hold off on this one to figure this out. Because I heard the bang and it f***ed me up because that's when, like I heard it and then you jumped and then- For a good reason. But yes, yes, but she screamed afterwards. Yeah. Which made me think somebody was actually there and that's when I went to like, uh-oh, um, yeah, well. Well, you scared me really bad. I think Emily's scream was scarier than the f***ing thud. Well, <laughs> it, the thud it, just it, made me f***ing move. What yeah, say? more energy. No. But, but I that, think you got enough. I think but see, but that's good but job. that's what messed me up though, is because the thud, and I'm like, okay, we're good. And then everybody reacting, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> that's normal for me. But then I heard her blood curdling scream afterwards, which made me think that something showed up. But that's but that's what I jumped over. That was because enough. like I heard the thud, but I was like looking this way, so I didn't see you. I just saw her go this way, and I heard the thud. You came this way, and she darted into my back, and I went this way, looked here, and she's screaming behind me in murder. Somehow, I... touch me? No. Oh my God, it's my. F
shirt just got. I thought I saw it because I saw a, a, like a white, but I didn't know if it was like my shirt. The bottom of my shirt got grabbed. So, that's that. We are going to walk our asses right out of this lobotomy room to the truck, make our way home. Uh, yeah, Norwich, Lippet. it's a place. That's really the only words I have for it. Do you think I got pissed? Because I, don't. I said, we don't do lobotomies anymore. I don't know. I asked it to make a loud like noise before we left. I'm just saying, and I'll tell you flat out, Dad shook my bones, and I'll admit it. <laughs> He's like I said. Nick scream, and we never hear Nick scream. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't really react to things, so that's like legit. The, the problem is, is that with Norwich, there's a different type of fear here mm -hmm. due to the fact that it is a bent in place and... It is a possibility to actually have real live people break in. So the fear factor is a lot more sensitive because every single noise you hear, you second guess. You'll never jump to paranormal really ever in this place until it's like you're, you're staring at it for a good five minutes. You're like, nope, not people, definitely paranormal then. That one shook me to the core because I've – Heard Emily scream before in a couple other videos, and I know her blood curdling scream. That was a different fear, which set me off. And your boy had to fight and flight, and he was gonna fight. And Norwich is a not only is it super haunted, it's it's a psychological place yes. because, like you said, you don't know if it's a person or if it's a spirit. And like we've always said, we're okay with the spirits. Yeah. That's fine. Scares okay you? Absolutely. But they're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Not like that. Real people could hurt you. So, like I said, I just wanna leave the lobotomy room. We got our wish. We conquered Norwich State Again, Hospital. Again, I am so sorry for that scream. That is my real scream when I get scared. Sorry for scaring the viewers. Yeah, the no. Buters. The buters. <laughs> the buters. Just put in, like, a uh, high audio coming. Yeah. So, as you can see, I'm literally sweating bullets. I've been the shit beat out of me this whole time. What a freaking way to come back. That All right. Crazy. Norwich, see you later. Thank you. Next up, Trans-Allegheny. Hey, Nick, take him away. All right, guys. Remember, what's your theory?